Lifelines of National Economy Chapter 7 Geography Class 10 Transport and Communication System includes lifelines for the national economy. Goods and services do not move from supply locals to demand locals on their own. The movement of these goods and services from their supply location to demand location necessitates the needs for transportation. Movement of these goods and services can be over three important domains of the earth like land, water, air. Further, it can be classified into land, into roadways, railways, pipelines. Waterways can be classified into inland and overseas and air routes could be classified into domestic and international airlines. Roadways India has one of the largest road networks in the world. They still have an edge over railways in view of the ease with which they can be built and maintained. In India, roads can be classified into various ways like Golden Quadrilateral Super Highways which connects Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, Mumbai with six lane super highways. Along with there is a north, south and east west corridor also. Next is National Highway, State Highway, District Road and Border Roads. Railways The Indian railways have been a great integrating force for more than 150 years. For long distance journey, people still prefer to travel from railways. The first train steam off from Mumbai to Thane in 1853 covering a distance of 34 km. There are three types of gauzes, broad gauze, meter gauze and narrow gauze. Waterways are cheapest means of transportation. In our country, the inland waterways have been converted into national waterways. These are five. National waterway number one is in Ganga River and it is 1620 km. National waterway number two in Brahmaputra River having 891 kilometer national waterway number 3 west coast canal in kerala this 205 kilometer national waterway number 4 is godavari krishna river which is 1078 kilometer long and national wa waterway number 5 is in brahmani matai and Mahanadi River that is 588 km long. Airways is the fastest and most comfortable and prestigious mode of transport. It can cover very difficult terrains like high mountains, dense forest. The air transport was nationalized in 1953.